Hello everybody and welcome to another Snapseed mini tutorial. I'm Grandpa Scott and today the tutorial is on the vignette tool. The vignette tool adds a subtle darkening around the edges of a photograph to draw the viewer's attention to the center of that photograph or to the person or subject of the photograph. You'll notice in professionally printed photographs the vignette tool is used a lot. It's very subtle but it really makes a difference in your photographs. So let's go. Let's begin by opening the Snapseed app. Open photo, open from device, go to my camera roll and I'll select the photo which we will work with today. And today we're working with vignette. So again, type, touching the tool in the bottom right corner of the screen opens the options and you'll see vignette as the bottom uh, fifth box down on the left side. We'll open vignette by tapping it and this is the screen that we get. You'll see a blue dot in the center. But before we do that let me uh, make a comment about vignette. This adding a soft vignette around the edge of an image can really help draw attention to the main subject. Just make sure to keep it as subtle as possible without ruining the effect because a heavy vignette can really be distracting. As with all the tools in Snapseed, it looks really simple when you first open it up, but when you start playing around with it, you realize just how much control you can have over the end result. Usually with a vignetting tool, all you can do is darken or brighten the edge of your photo to focus eyes on the middle of the scene, but in Snapseed, you can swipe up and down. It gives you the option to adjust the inner circle or the outer circle brightness. And once you've selected the option you want, you just slide right or left to adjust the intensity. So let's look at it. If I put my finger on the blue dot, you'll see a circle that I can move anywhere in the screen. By taking two fingers on the screen, I can widen the fingers and change the size of the circle larger or I can bring it down, make it smaller. Let's start here by making it about this big. I will slide it down a little bit to put it evenly in the frame. And this is what I'm going to play with now. Now you'll notice that the outer brightness down here at the bottom is set to negative 50. By sliding my finger up or down, I change from outer brightness to inner brightness. Well, let's set it on outer brightness, which is what the bottom bar shows us. And if I slide left and right, you'll see that number change. There is negative 100. Or if I slide it the other way, I can get outer brightness to plus 100. So just uh, let me go back and put it. Negative 70 is way too much, so I'm going to slide it. Let's start with zero as a baseline. So you see what I'm talking about. If I can get it, there's zero. So if I slide it negative to about, there's what I like right there, about 57. If I push this top icon in the right corner of the screen, you can see the before picture and the after picture. Again, the before and the after. And I really like a subtle darkening around the edges and I'm done. Then you can select the check mark in the bottom right corner and save a copy of the photo. But let's take a few moments and I'll show you just what else you can do here. If you slide your finger up to inner brightness, you can now scroll left and right and change the brightness inside that circle up or down. And you'll see at the bottom of the screen it says inner brightness, which is what we're playing with. And as we move right and left, we get the changes. You can also, as I mentioned, squeeze that circle. So if you want, and you can move the circle. If you want to focus on the face, for instance, let's focus more on the face. Again, you can do the inner brightness and play with the face, or you can leave the inner brightness at zero, slide up to outer brightness, and you can do a vignette to really focus on the face or not. Remember, a subtle vignette is the best in my opinion. So again, if you start here at zero and just do a subtle darkening, now we do a before 
and after just focused on the face, you can see the effect. So that's the vignette tool. Again, I like to vignette just the edges of my photograph, uh, typically something uh, like that and make the make them dark, say in this case, around, uh, let's go 59, before, after, before, after. The effect is subtle, but if you'll notice when you look at professional photographs, of people particularly, there is a lot of subtle vignetting put around the edges of the photograph to draw the viewer's attention to the center of that photograph, the subject. Again, it's really easy if you know how to do it. It's easier if you do it a few times, and it's easiest if you do it a lot. So play with the vignette tool, see if it can improve your photographs.